Shaking your pussies. We live? Are we live? Are you there? Are you there? Yo, we made it. Woo! All right. Oh Thank Jesus. you to Jacob for our Our producer called out tonight, so Jacob uh, was Jake thrust boy. into production duty, and he made this happen. I love God damn. my Jakey boy. Buck, buck, everybody. We're on, off and running. Thank you to everybody bucking in the chat. It's so great to see all your sweet names in there, whether they're real or not. <laughs> uh, special shout out to anybody that has a, a an iteration of the word retard in their screen name. Always appreciated. Damn, y'all. Here we Welcome. are. We made it. Hello. Hello, Hello sir. Hello. Jacob, how are you, buddy? Hey, guys. Hey, Good guys. What's you, going on? Good to see you. Chat. Oh, here we go. What are the odds that uh, we choose to have this AMA on a day where there's massive true crime news? Crazy news. Yeah. Wild. Yeah, Juron Vandersloot gave a confession and admitted to killing Natalie Holloway. And you don't think that's the whole truth? I don't. I believe the way that he did it, but I don't think him gently setting the corpse a sail yeah, was that, the way I, that I that, that, that works. I think he normally. called his dad, the dad helped him out, yeah. and they got rid of her body. But I do believe that he smashed her face in with a cinder block for not letting him feel her up. Yeah, shame on him. Yeah. It's a real 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 no good, Nick. Yeah, just just no means no. <coughs> Don't go smashing cinder blocks. You know that TLC song. I I know it well. I remember Don't it on the radio. Go smashing Ple- cinder blocks. Please stick to the bricks and the stucco you're used to. <laughs> stucco. How you gonna smash a bitch face with stucco? How you know about it, that? It stucco? takes a lot of work. <laughs> you gotta like grade it. Yeah, maybe you'll scratch her. You gotta grade a bitch face like cheese sometimes. This is nice. I don't like no. this. <laughs> this is a rough start. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn, what's good, y'all? Am I a fan of pro wrestling, especially ECW? Um, I I think I like the idea of wrestling more than I like following it. I do love that it exists, and I love how pe- how people are super into it. And I do like checking it out occasionally. The last wrestling that I watched was fucking WrestleMania, and I had a blast. There was I watched a po- that, too. There was a golden suitcase or something going around. Bro, do, do you remember the part where Cena came out with all the special needs kids? I don't. You know how the uh, the entrance to the ring was a ramp? Yeah. Well, one of the special needs kids that John Cena brought out was in a wheelchair, and I thought that would should have been the moment for Cena's heel turn. <laughs> to let him go <laughs> down the ramp? Let him go see my mom. Or turn that ramp into stairs. Push him down the ramp so hard that he meets all the old wrestlers. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I love wrestling. <laughs> you, Dustin it's had a, a wet to dream. Keep up with, I can't imagine doing that. Dustin Miller had a wet dream about Taylor Shabiznis last night. Whoa, uh, dude! Did you actually produce cum from your penis in your sleep, Dustin? Brother, you got me chair jumping. Tell me about Applause it. Applause for Dustin. I haven't had a, a nocturnal emission in a dog's age. I know, Mitch. Uh, AEW fucking rules, man. Now, I kind of get my wrestling knowledge secondhand, but um, I would like to go to a wrestling event, I think. It's been a very long time, yeah. and I loved them when I used to go as a kid. We're due. We're due for a wrestling event. We In are, In the yeah. city, you mean? Oh, yeah. But we're due to go to one. To go to one. And yeah. get kicked out. Yeah, I think we just had WrestleMania, or are having WrestleMania. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah, okay. It's coming to the link, man. Yeah. We're going to go. Outside? Yeah. It rains. Well, fucking, it was at SoFi Stadium this year. It don't rain there, though. Uh, excuse you, Sam Vance. Yeah, Sam. Why yeah, the Phillies are bra- fucking crazy. Oh, right right now. He's just wow. upset about his Braves. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Sorry, man. Sam. Yeah, dude. It must be that week off that makes him not be able to <laughs> fucking hit a baseball somehow <laughs> and their pitchers look, forget how to fucking throw. Yeah, don't you hate it when you get a lot of rest? <laughs> yeah, you can do yeah, your nothing, job a nothing thousand worse times than relaxing better. before yeah. work. Yeah, oh, exhausting. Boy. John, did you get the Taco Bell pass again? No, is it out? Are you guys fucking serious? Did it happen today? <laughs> oh, my happen? God, dude. How, of all people, they probably are hiding it from me because I did so fucking good last year. Yo, I got so excited because they announced a new uh, steak burrito with bacon on it. And I was like, oh, my God, this is going to be incredible. And it's just bacon bits. But I still got it three times. I'm sorry. You know I can't hear anything right now. No, my I know. My ears are zone. ringing. Yeah, I agree with Michael Trainer. The Braves are fucking gay, so suck it. I don't think there's a taco pass that's been available unless they're not letting me get it because I've already had it. Do you, are you guys aware? I'm sorry. This is I don't know. Be, I know that there's going to be Taco Bell related for the next couple minutes. I do know that there's free tacos coming our way because they're doing the World Series, the World Series, Series base. stolen base, yeah. but it is yeah. a Doritos Locos taco. Mm-hmm. 
which cool. I've I'm never not, had one. I'm not getting a taco if that's the only free option. I just no. want I just want a plain crispy, crunchy. Oh, you're very sweet, Tool Studios. Thank you. Trim boy, yeah. Dude, Moose Wayne, uh, Homolka and Shabiznis, Terror Three-Way. My goodness. <laughs> Dear Lord. Where's Delaware baseball team? What do you mean? The Blue Rocks? Blue Rocks, Rocks. Yeah. Wilmington. In a very bad part of town. John, did I ever tell you one of the uh, most prolific pathological liars that I knew claimed that he played minor league baseball for the Wilmington Blue Rocks? That's such a close and, like, you could probably figure out whether or not he's lying team. But this was 1999, so... No, in, not enough internet. Not enough donor. people had the internet yeah. yet, so it's like you would just take that at face value. Did he look like he could have been telling the truth? Yeah, he was a, he was a big, strong guy. Do you think he, like, <laughs> just didn't... He tried out but didn't get... No, I, he lied about everything. Damn. Yeah, so shout out to Peter Avila. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love Mike, first yeah. and last Ooh. name, Rainey. Trey Eubanks, what's the best Arby's order? Uh, well, you guys noticed that we're sponsored by them again tonight? Yeah, we're also sponsored by uh, his plastic bag. <laughs> yeah, that's a Larry's bar- backyard barbecue bag, by the Woo. way, I think. Did you make those wings or did you get them from Arby's too? Sure. Okay. He said sure. <laughs> uh, best Arby's order, if money is no option... I usually get the chicken bacon Swiss sandwich, some mozzarella sticks, maybe a Jamocha shake and a soda. Okay. What are you getting? That'll take your feet in a few years. <laughs> yeah, that'll... Dude, I, I can't tell you the last time I had Arby's, and I got one fucking two yeah. minutes from my house. That's a shame. I, have, I I never go to it either, Mike. Really? It's terrible. Yeah. It's terrible food or terrible service? Both. Yes. A good Arby's is, Curly is the upper the echelon of fast food. Seth, welcome, brother. When it's good. Yeah, uh, Tool, I'm, I'm I sorry. I go puggy style. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tool, I'm sorry for uh, for making it so gay. I think I, I think I just got gay on the brain from uh, Philly's Fever because the Phillies are the gayest team in history, man. Wow, Rojas out there. He might not Music, be producing at the plate, but he's producing in my pants, I'll tell you kisses, that much. <laughs> snuggles, man. This team has got the yeah, homosexuality going on, and it I wiggled love it. when Castellanos got that, that out. What was it, in the eighth inning? Uh-huh. Man, the whole thing just, was... Just all studs, man. Easily the hottest team I've ever seen in baseball. Yeah, I'm high, yes, man. What about it? <laughs> oh, John, look. Spanky M says, anyone else in the chat go buck buck for the coin boing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go buck yeah, buck go boing buck. boing if you uh, love the sound effect. <laughs> yeah, we love it, but there's like a thousand people that fucking hate it. <laughs> they hate it like, like a lot. Like I'm going to unsubscribe from this podcast if you keep the boing in. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty intense hate. Uh, Trey, uh, great point. We're getting close to 2,000 patrons. Um, here's the deal. Yeah. Jake. Oh, Jake, dude, we just had an explosion in the past week. You are closer than ever. You better be eating fucking uh, foam for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, pal. Yeah, thank you to all of our new patrons, but our deal was for, the, for a long time now uh, was once we hit 2,000 patrons, we are going to put Jake back in the foam pit that almost took his fucking life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And make him face his fears and swim his way out of the foam pit. Damn, Dustin, thank you, brother. I appreciate oh, it. That Dustin. fucking rules. Dustin! God damn, you demand, Dustin. God damn, Dustin. But we're going to make Jake back. We're not going to make him. He's going to do it under his own volition. Yes. Because we don't make anybody do anything. I'm, gonna, right. I'm going to push him in yes. live yeah. on Instagram. Yes. So. There's a camera, so I have to do it. Yeah. He uh, showed up knowing what was going to happen, though, so. <laughs> Dustin, if you want uh, butthole pics of any or all of us, please oh, let man. us know. That is a very generous donation, wow, and we appreciate thanks, you, buddy. brother. Um, but yeah, Jake's going back into the phone pit and we're going to make it a party too. Once we hit 2000, we're going to make arrangements and we're going to actually rent the space around the phone pit yeah. and yeah. invite patrons to come. We're going to party. It'll be a BYOB 35 year old retarded boys birthday party. <laughs> yes. That's It'll what be we're going to have either an emancipation or a funeral that's happening. And here's the deal. I think, uh, there's no price of admission. However, the only uh, suggested donation should be that we all come dressed as lifeguards. Yes, yes, for sure. <laughs> there is a theme. Miles Coffee, you're the man. What a fucking blast we had at Skankfest. You were the best. Dude, oh, yeah. Miles fucking rules, man. Miles it was awesome man. talking he with you, brother. He just asked uh, when we're going to get that Impractical Jokers episode. And I got a question for you, Mike. May I ask you anything? Uh, go ahead. Why in the fuck did you have a goddamn... Former Impracticals Jokers producer <laughs> next to you. <laughs> and you didn't mention the show at all. I didn't know a lot about him. All right, so yesterday... He also does a fucking podcast with one of the members of the Dead End Company. I didn't know. Whoa. All right, He does a podcast with fucking O'Teal. No, he does not. He does. 
Can you, get him, can you get him to come here wow. and talk to us about those things? I, I oh. will. All right, let me acknowledge. I think if I get a guy like that in here, I might win a coin flip or two. All right, before I answer that, I just want to thank T. Sweeze. You are Jeez. the fucking man. My God, guys. T. Sweeze, we would love to see you at the phone pit party, brother. And Sam Vance, <laughs> why have I not spoken to Russell Williams? Um, Who is Russell is Williams? That- is he a very cor- Wilson? corny yeah, quarterback for the Denver Broncos? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't think I know him. Sam, tell me who that motherfucker is. Um, but yeah, uh, Mike Fenoya, uh, very cool, very funny guy. Uh, came by Dad Meet yesterday. He he had been doing he had done Shaner's pod, podcast right before that. Nice. So we asked him to come on. Just he, he's there. Cool. Yeah. You're a cool guy. Join us. And it wasn't until after the podcast that I learned that uh, he was a producer for Impractical Jokers. Mm-hmm. I thought that maybe he had done, you know, some kind of like acting on there or something. Mm. Yeah. Although it is real, right? Like, yeah, but they've got like you know, yeah, like the manager that comes out. Like, hey, yeah, yeah, one of those guys. Yeah, I thought it was that. Right? I I didn't know um, he had such a prominent role in there. Yeah. Oh, dude, comedy producer, supervising producer, the guys plugged. In man, Damn, yeah. man, I'm so sorry, man. Yeah, he can connect us. The guy's connected, brother. Then the next time he comes on, I want you to come on. Okay, dude, I would love if we had the impractical jokers <sighs> on our show and we do the coin toss anyway. We still lose. <laughs> <And> we still <laughs> lose. <laughs> well, it is up to dude, fate. We all know that. Yeah, Spanky, I would love if Kenzel came on to do a puppet episode. Oh, dude, we should do that for the Patreon. Have Kenzel I would do love a that puppet show. <laughs> Singer's puppet show. We're like, we don't know what the fuck this is. But oh, this is pineal new. gland. I, I love you. Thank you so much for for your generous donation and for fucking buying all perks. Today. <laughs> Thank you, pineal gland. That's great. <laughs> we love you, Peony. <laughs> what are you playing in that that profile pic? What, do you, what is that? An acoustic or electric? That's an electric. It looks acoustic to me. Maybe that's his hand that looks oh. like the sound hole. Oh. B one C one has a very interesting question. Why is you gay? Wait, uh, <laughs> you know what? Tonight's a good night to finally admit this. Go uh, for it, Jake, 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 Jake. Uh, John I, Griff, holy whoa, shit. Whoa, John, John Griff. Griff, you the wow. man, brother. Yes, John Griff uh, was generous enough to give us these beautiful bobbleheads. John, we love this these bobbleheads. This is the dumber one right here. If anyone has a Taylor Shabiznis story, oh, we got to make Anthony, one. Feel free to send them. Mike, what's your address again? Oh, Nick, you're the fucking man. I appreciate you, brother. Oh, uh, honestly, yeah, if anybody wants to send anything. Uh, Jake, I used to hate getting shit. Yeah. Um, and I, I've traced it back. I figured it out. So as an older boy, my mother was still doing a lot for me Uh and I resented her for doing so much for me later on when you realized it was maybe not the best thing for you. you Yeah. So I would, she would present me with things, whether it was an actual gift that she bought Rocco, you were the fucking best. I cannot wait to see those Kelly greens on Sunday. Thank you, brother. Whether it was a gift that she presented to me or my neatly folded laundry, and I hated that she was do, still doing this kind of shit. In the moment, it would anger yes. you. Yeah. So I think that carried over wow. into a significant portion of my life. So where, did you not get birthday gifts for like decades because of this? Well, I also had an issue with birthday gifts before. <laughs> oh my god. Well, no, and here was the <laughs> issue with that. Unwrap that one. Yeah. No, this is another one. Oh, oh great! He hated That's a great pun. Those. Dude, skull fucks. Thank you so much. It was awesome meeting you skull too, fuck. friend. Fox, Fox, Fox and socks. Yeah, you're the fucking man. That's what we say when we in our hotel rooms. <laughs> but the the other present related issue I had was I think I was like 12 and all I wanted was a fucking Nintendo. And I had my birthday party and I was like, I just want to make this 120 bucks so I can get the Nintendo like entertainment set because it was the Nintendo Duck Hunt Super Mario Brothers the fucking yeah, gun. Yeah, I remember seeing that. Um, I made the 120 bucks and I was like, yes. And as soon as like. My, I was finished opening all the envelopes. My dad called me up to his bedroom, and he's like, uh, I need to borrow that money. So my dad borrowed the money. Oh, that someone else gave to you, or he gave to you? That everybody else gave me. Like, the, all of the... Or that, man, that's yeah. Cool. He needed the Nintendo set up for himself, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he just had the dopest yeah. room after that. Yeah. He 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 apparently owed some very bad guys a lot of Mario coins. <laughs> no Mike's <laughs> sign onto the door, <laughs> but your name is Mike. No, Mike's <laughs> plural. So I've had a weird hang up about gifts all these years, but I've gotten yeah. past that. And John Griffith, sweetest fucking guy in the world. I love him so much. I love seeing you at shows, John. You yeah, are the fucking man. John is the man. Uh, John gave us these beautiful bobbleheads, and I Thank love getting you, gifts Leo. now. John, you might have single handedly turned that around because I just love looking at these things. Yeah. And John, don't think I didn't see your cover photo, pal. <coughs> I know what that reaction shot is to. He put up recently the shot of me choking to death on dad meat. 
Oh, as his, yeah, I know. Just as his, his own yeah, profile pic. As his cover photo. Oh, that's yeah. good stuff. For, for those of you that yeah, weren't aware of that, they were like, what was it, like two years ago, uh, we were yeah. back here doing dad meet, and uh, what did you choke on, Jake? Just laughter. Yeah, Jake Laugh. was... A combination of air, cold. and he forgot to swallow for a little while, so there was a lot of drool <laughs> in his know, mouth. You forget, you know. All right, so Jake started choking for some inexplicable reason, and he got up to walk away. And I, 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 Jake, I, I didn't know what was happening because you weren't eating. Yeah, no, there, there was no reason for you to be choking. I was laughing choking. so hard that I, like, you know, when you've, like, lost your breath laughing before? Yeah. Like, it was like that. And, yeah, I did take a sip of water, but uh, I also peed my pants a little bit while I was choking, which is, <laughs> I was wearing sweatpants standing right in front of the camera. You could probably oh, see Jake. it. Jake. God damn, it was the worst. Thank God it was on the Patreon. But but Jake uh, was gasping for air on camera and... Uh, <laughs> like, <gasps> like fucking wild. I, I did not know it was happening. So, Jake, yeah. I want to formally apologize for you for, for not being more helpful in that Three moment. Three years later. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Mike, that ship has sailed, buddy. Yeah, I, I sincerely apologize. An elephant never forgets. Yeah, you guys sure did just uh, continue to laugh for yeah. a while. I did not. Did. If you look at all of our faces, Tim, Tim is... Overjoyed. I, I've, it's like I've Tim's it fucking back. team just won the Super Bowl. I've played it back a hundred times. I've got it down on a list. It's like Russian nesting dolls of psychotic reactions. <laughs> and it's, you're the most uh, concerned? Easily. Like, Tommy was really? in the middle. Tommy Dude. Tommy was somewhere, somewhere in between Tim and I. I mm-hmm. would say Tom. Tommy was more concerned than you and way less concerned than Tim. Tim was, like, so fucking thrilled that this was happening. Mike was like, what the fuck are you doing in my home? And Tommy's just like, no. oh my god, what is, what is this? Like, yeah. is this a joke? Uh-huh. John, you had a you had a question. Uh, someone had asked if you're going to get yourself high tonight. Oh yeah, I just did all three. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I gave him a big thumbs it. up. James Harden, thank, thank you, brother. Thank, thank you. you. And I, I hope you stay in Philly, and I hope you turn your attitude around. Yeah. Honestly, you're being a little bit of a cunt. You shouldn't have skipped practice. Yeah, pal. come on, dude. Yeah, Focus Sam Vance. Where um, do you want to fucking play? <laughs> We're talking to this guy like he really is the basketball player. <laughs> yeah, why are you in Houston right now, James? Please come back. But uh, <laughs> Sam Vance, yeah, we're going to do a Chris Benoit episode. Uh, I, I have an idea for an elaborate setup that I want to provide for that episode. Jesus Christ. So I have to ensure that that could happen before I get <laughs> the ball rolling get on a that. flex in here and do the episode. <laughs> I'm, 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 oh no! You I'm, are. I'm on the hunt for three bow flexes. <laughs> nice. So that's the starting point, but that is going to be that's going to require a lot of moving parts. But I will make that happen. At yeah, some those point, things Sam. have a lot of moving parts on them. <laughs> uh, that one might have to be filmed outside at a gym. <laughs> uh, Joshua Barton. Uh, yeah, we we did uh, the Vandersloot thing. I did yeah, not Mike, see that fucking coming, man. Mike mentioned that uh, earlier that he does not. He's not convinced that that's the whole truth. He I'm the not. Dad yeah. Assisted, which I think is probably true. Uh, a lot of inf- misinformation going around these days. Uh, somebody mentioned film directors. Uh, I like Ari Aster a lot. It makes some very fucked up movies that I will never watch for a second time. I always feel I always feel like I have a stomach ache after an Ari Aster movie. Who's like? What's some of the movies he's done? Uh, Hereditary. Midsummer. Hereditary. I, think I just watched that one. It's fucked up. Really? Isn't it? You Listen, think? Uh, yeah. I isn't did. it crazy? Th- that's, the, up? that's the one with the chick from United States of Terra. Right, I don't be watching the one lady kind of with the like schizophrenia on Showtime. Oh, Tony that's Collette. Uh, yeah, T- Tia Leone. Yeah, Tony, Tony Collette. Collette. All right, yeah, she's, she's in, in Hereditary. Okay, I think she, yeah, I think she's. Yeah, I think she's the mom. Hey, Poon. Hey, Benny. And I'll tell you what, I am terrified of scary movies, but I've been trying to like get over it. Really? Yeah, dude. I can't do it, and uh, especially those really scary ones. If you want to know a, a <laughs> tip on how to beat the scary movie, cover your fucking eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing that forever. Watch it on the Max app. Because then it'll, it'll buffer 50 fucking times. <laughs> and there's a glitch now whenever okay. you open the app, it okay. restarts the Somebody's whole not movie. having a, a happy max day, it sounds like. Jordan Glover, yes. I cannot wait for fucking Gypsy Rose to get out. I'm going to hit her up, too. And by the way, I mailed the uh, the letter that we wrote to Jody Arias. So you better believe. The you mailed of, it? I did. <laughs> oh, Sorry, man. I was laughing at a ketchup overdose. Ketchup thank you. <laughs> uh, ketchup overdose, name? thank you, my friend. But I cannot wait for Gypsy Rose to get out. Uh, I believe uh, she deserves to get out, and uh, it'll be interesting to see whether or not she kills any other fatsos. We haven't done Chopper Reed, and Chopper Reed, um, there's a book that I want to read about him that I have not got to yet, but yeah, I do want to cover him. Are you happy about Gypsy getting out? I am. I I am too. I, I uh, I like a comeback story. Is that recent news? She is getting out? Yeah. Yeah. I think in uh, December, maybe. Oh, 
We should have her on first. We should, we should buy her a ticket to St. Louis. Come see me. If you're if you're in there America, if you're uh, on planet Earth for the first week of December, consider taking a fall, a fall vacation to St. Louis and see me in the small room at Helium Comedy Club. Rudy December Mar- first and second. Rudy Moradian have Gypsy Rose met, meet up with Lamar Lee. I think that would be a good pairing. Oh my God. Nick, that's a great question. John, do you want to tell people your Jeremy Piven story? We did we did do it once, but it might have been Patreon only. Yeah. Is oh. that do we know this, Nick? Is this just random Nick? That might be uh Nick, give us your Jeremy last name Piven's and social security name. number. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nick, just send me all your information real quick. Uh the Jeremy Piven story. I opened for him at Punchline. Basically it was like a public um show of affection when it was announced he was Performing in Philly, I, I'm such a avid and public Entourage fan, and uh, you know the public wanted me to be involved in that show, so I opened for him. And uh, the manager at the time said he was supposed to go out to dinner between shows with Jeremy. They were gonna go get food together, and like, I'm sure it was the thrill of a lifetime to go get dinner with Ari Gold, <laughs> but uh, he wasn't. He left between shows, and when he came back, he had two girls on his arm, exotic looking girls, and. Uh, the manager's like, oh, did you still want food? And Jeremy Piven motioned to one of the girls and winked and said, nah, I just had Thai. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did not. Dude. Uh, Blue Velvet, uh, I would love to hear more about that interaction with Marjorie Congdon. I'm not aware of that lady, but... Just Allegedly, from, by the way. Okay. But just from what you had mentioned, I would love to hear more about that. Oh, my God. Put me and Gypsy in a foam pit? No, that's not happening. Actually, that, that's fine. I'd use her as stairs. <laughs> Jake, this is a serious question. Would you prefer that other people be in the phone pit with you to encourage you? Huh. I never, you know, I never thought about getting that amount of support. I think just helping me out would be great. No, you have no, to get out on yeah, your own. No, I'm talking, would you think it would be mentally supportive if you saw me get in and out of the phone pit 100 times while you're in there? Because <laughs> that's my goal. I'm going to go in and out 100 times. Mitch Dudley, uh, there is an update on the FBI Museum. I am not allowed. For real. Wait, for real? You applied? Yeah. I applied and I got a rejection. Why? I don't know. They don't Fuck, give you a notification, like a reason? No, here, let me see if I can find it. Where is it? Washington? And, and you have and to say apply? their name. Yep. And write the, say their email on, Fuck, on the... man, I'm not going to... I do Everyone a fucking podcast senators. with you. I'm not going to be allowed in there. God damn write it. Write your senators. Dude, I, nah, Guilty I, by association. I wanted to go to the fucking FBI. I have no desire to oh, go to the FBI. Yeah. And I got it here. All right, it's saying fail to load, but it says. Um, <laughs> That's fine. That's enough. Go buck buck if uh if we um if we have the rented uh birthday party for Jake's phone pick. Go buck buck in the chat if you're gonna try to come to it. It'll be in yeah, the be in nice. the Delaware County area, and we can yeah. probably have up to like fifty people there. Why is this not going? To, all right, so U.S. Capitol to request FBI headquarters. Why why is this not? We're using all the damn bandwidth for this. I know, uh, but I the. the this chat's so goddamn buck, dude. Yeah, yeah long story short, yes, they're not yes, going to let Yes, 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 yes. This is going to be such a fucking party. <laughs> oh, my God. God. All right, so when we hit 2,000, we will announce it, and we'll give people, like, a couple months, maybe, a month or two, Dear before we Lord. actually do it. Scoons, I would definitely yes. check him out. There's yes. a lot of yes. bucks. Yes, thank yes. you. Dude. Thank you See, for saying that about me. Look at all the support. That's not, do you guys want to be in the, the <laughs> phone pit with me, or or do you want to... They're going to be there cheering. They're going to have whistles uh, blowing loud as fuck. Whistles. Life blow the whistle. Woo, blowing woo, loud, woo. dude. It's going to be very hard to hear us dude, in there. Imagine being the 16-year-old working that day, <laughs> trying to figure out what the hell is going on. I don't know. Just a bunch of adults came in and threw a fat guy in the phone pit. <laughs> uh, Karma AIDS. Uh, he, he gave us a bunch of cool drip at the show, at the Cleveland show. We all got cool shirts oh, out of it. Oh, yeah. Um, Matthew Brady, right? Is that his name? John, what the fuck, man? What? It's Karma It's Car- Karma AIDS in the chat. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Is that his name? Uh, <laughs> you want to give out his fucking social too, dickhead? Do you want me to? But he, uh, Karma he AIDS gave me? us a bunch of cool shirts at the, yeah, uh, a bunch of wow. vintage shirts at the um, Cleveland show. And uh, I did something bad with the Ben Simmons jersey today. What you, you do? do? Wipe jersey? up Cat Dookie? Uh, no. Wipe up cum. I was wiping up some of that spooky dookie. <laughs> <laughs> From downtown. Dude, I cannot believe of all the fucking first and last names you've said on this show, and the first time I ever say someone <laughs> so fucking innocently about nothing. That's just a, it's his business. All right, you're making What's an excellent point. <laughs> 
I'm sorry. God damn, I'm sorry. Oh, can I wear my CPAP in the foam pit? <laughs> yeah, if you fall yeah. asleep, man. <laughs> yeah, like, you I wouldn't get that relaxed in there. You will fall asleep. <laughs> Using it for the extra oxygen. Yeah, Mark, Mark McGravy, uh, there is no training. You are either into pit life or not. <laughs> God, Mark McGravy, you sound delicious, buddy. Uh, Skepsis Rollins, um, the gentleman we were just referring to uh, is going to take us to Jeffrey Dahmer's home. We're going to set that up for some point, possibly this winter time, and go back out there. We didn't yeah. have time when we went to Cleveland this time, but I do want to go check out his neighborhood. I wore the Michael Vick jersey he gave me in Cleveland the other day. Not a lot, no, no bad looks or comments or anything. A lot of high fives. You know what my excuse is going to be? A lot of high fives yeah. at the dog park, too. <laughs> yeah. If somebody ever accosts me for wearing a Michael Vick jersey, I'm going to be like, oh, so you fucking like pit bulls? <laughs> That's a good plan. <laughs> Nick says, are oh, you having pit bulls? No, <laughs> yeah, I do have a I'm pit bull. Sorry. Yeah. He's almost dead anyway. It's fine. Oh, no. You should yeah. fight him to death then. Yeah, that would be the time. Yeah, he's probably been trying to fight for his whole life. Jake, you got a, a question from Josephus Comedy. Is there any room in them jeans for me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know. I don't play. There's a little thing up there. I just had the, the shins taken in, but you can climb up. Sorry, Larry. We got a ladder. God, you guys. Nick, I would love That's that. Enough. What, what's Nick trying to do? Uh, take us to uh, Dahmer's old property. They knocked down the apartment building, yeah. but it would be nice to just... Stand there and pay we got our respects. Some, some possibility, uh, some some road stuff setting in for twenty twenty four. Yeah, all right. Um, Where is it? All right, Wisconsin? so Wisconsin. We'll announce no, it. So we'll the, announce it when it when it's. Yeah, we're there. lining up uh, road shows for um twenty twenty four. The no, first. Where's his? Where's Dahmer live though? Wisconsin. Yeah. No, right. Dahmer was in Bath, Ohio. That's where he was born. Oh. So that's where he committed his first murder. He uh yeah. he whacked a teenage guy. I think he might have. He might have. No, is that how he died? All right, I'm getting things confused. But he killed his first victim in Bath, Ohio. He killed himself in prison, right? No, a guy Felt beat him to death. Oh. With weight equipment. Felt around so, his neck. Was it sex or weightlifting? But, combination. But he ended up moving to Milwaukee, and that's where he got into the Domery Dahmer stuff. Okay. <laughs> that's what I was thinking of, the uh, apartment complex that knocked down. Uh, Jordan Glover asked, are wheelchairs allowed in the foam pit? That is a good question. I think you have to have those beach wheelchairs that have the giant wheels. <laughs> <laughs> For the extra traction. Yeah. You just don't sink at all. Yeah. God. You got to have a Nerf wheelchair. What I wouldn't give. Dude, you know what I want to do? I'm going to post a little, my little Rocky montage soon on the Aww. Patreon. I've been yeah. doing the jumps up on the steps. That'd be a blocky montage, brother. Do you know how deep the pit is if it's empty? <laughs> Guys, get this serious for one second. Four feet. That's the one. Four the, feet. The one that caused this whole traumatic incident, four feet deep, a fucking four feet deep hole. I think what the what they should have tried to do was to dig you out. <clears throat> That's that was what I did. You that, moved all the foam yes. around you. <laughs> yeah, because there was no stair. I was like, all yeah. right, and then I was like, I'll get like a little running start. Uh -huh. But it's four feet, mind you. I weigh as much as a cow. You got to do a like, roll. It's a um, it's not an actual floor. It's like one of those like vinyl things, so that when you step on it, you dip down. Mm -hmm. So with all the weight that I'm putting on that thing, that thing became twelve feet very fast. Whoa, twelve feet, damn, tripled yeah. up. Yeah, Tri I mean, double, triple up. Sam Vance, I am gonna miss Matt. Um, I know he's gonna do yeah. well though. So I'm I'm pulling for him. I saw he was at the uh, comedy mothership I last saw that. night. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm very happy for him. Um. Oh, yeah, so the first, it looks like the first show that we're going to be able to announce is going to be, we don't have it finalized right now, but it looks like within the next couple of days it will be, uh, we're coming to Detroit in winter 2024. Or, I'm sorry, spring 2024. Next year. Yes. We're coming next year. Yes. Next year. And this uh, year I'm coming to St. Louis. <laughs> uh, Hawking Nation, Jimmy Gillespie is very athletic. Yeah. Well, it, let's see him. Let's get his ass in the fucking foam pit. I would love, yeah. Oh, he might be a good one to uh, champion uh, or pair you up mm -hmm. with, Jake. Damn, this is like my fucking looper situation happening. Yeah, we'll get a couple of tiny pit. motorcycles for you guys to yeah. sit on next to each other, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Avery, that show is in Maniac, brother. Yeah, McCusker moved to uh, Austin. Yeah, he's already in uh, Austin. Man, my science is deafening. I'm fucking sorry, dude. First of all, that's a common name. So, could be anybody. <laughs> Yes, Megan, we are going to come to the Northwest. Damn, you guys got me too high. <laughs> Trick me into saying somebody's <laughs> fucking, they got code names or some shit. Ellen Why don't you be polite enough to not have to hide your identity? How's that? <laughs> <laughs> the, 
there isn't a place in this beautiful country of ours that I do not want to visit in 2024. And I say that seriously. There's a couple of shitholes I don't care for. Really? Yeah, I don't think I'd want to go to maybe like... Maybe like, I don't know. Camden. And it's so close. One of the Dakotas, I think, doesn't have anything good. I'm going to say it's North Dakota because I know South Dakota has um, Deadwood, which I've always wanted to visit. Yes, that would be cool. And they have the big uh, chisel job. Yeah. Foam pit party. You said it, 3B. I can't wait for the foam pit Thank party. You. It's actually going to happen so fucking soon. By the I way, after this uh, live AMA, we're going on to Patreon to do a live episode. We're going to take like a 15-minute break. So if you guys are not patrons yet, please consider joining. It's 4 bucks a month or 40 bucks for the year. And we're going to have another fun-ass chat doing a, well, either a Mike Stinker or an Impractical Joker. We'll see what happens when I toss Giants that coin. Night, man. You think so? I think so. You got yourself too high. I did. You're ready to do this. <laughs> That's the trick. I got to be too high. That's why I don't flick correctly. Yeah, yeah Max Eggenberger, we, yeah, we're coming to the independent. So as soon as we have the date locked down, I'll let you know. Uh, Sonia, oh, man, we just passed through Sacramento. Oh, yeah, we just drove through. Yeah, we was yelling for you. We went to Nike Outlet. We went to the clearance store. Final sale. Final sale. Yeah. I tried on five of those shirts. I man. wore the pair of pants that I got that day, I think, 14 times already. and We've only been back for a week and a half. Runaway Slav, I got my uh, Idi Amin <laughs> book back here, brother. So that's coming. <laughs> Lady Luck. <clears throat> Rocco, are you going to do another NFL stream soon? Jake, yeah, if, if you're up for it... <clears throat> Pardon me for clearing my throat, but uh, if you're up for it, I would like to do a Phillies game. <laughs> yeah, soon. I would love to. If you have time yeah. within the Fuck next couple games. Training. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, Dude, I, the game last week against the Jets, one, I don't want to talk about that game. Brutal. But also, the, the most confusing game I think I've watched in a long time, because they had Kelly Green on, right? Those Jets? Yeah. I was yeah, like, I don't oh, like we're that. A, we're, this is that game, and it wasn't. It wasn't that game. I was my welcome back. I was rooting for the Jets the whole time. I know you're looking good, girl. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> John's losing it over here. Ooh, I would love that, Matt. Is it, uh, listen, I don't want to mess with you right now, but Does anybody have a legal pad for me to jump <laughs> down quickly? <laughs> this is training day. This is that was PCP, Bro, dude. I did not want to get wet tonight. <laughs> There's PCP in that uh, Arby's milkshake. All right, <laughs> so Matt Brady is officially in the chat now, John. Oh, there we go. Matt, I've been wearing the other ones, but the Ben Simmons one, there was something that happened with Ben Simmons the other day that really rubbed me the wrong way, and I had a nut on it. <laughs> wait. <laughs> that's, wait. I've never... Out of anger? Just annoyance. I, I felt like I had moved on from I, Ben Simmons, yeah. but I watched a video where um, <laughs> I knew you didn't an Asian on. Nets fan was saying hello to Ben Simmons, and he pulled his Ben Simmons jersey aside to reveal a Ben Simmons tattoo. <laughs> and that really just fucking annoyed me. What would you do if someone in the chat got a tattoo of you, Mike? I would discourage them from doing that. <laughs> you know, someone in here probably already does. They probably have you Jordan. as Travis the Trip Chimp <laughs> done up on their face. Oh, Ben, he hit me with that bad boy. Oh, yeah, the stinker that he was talking about? God, there's so many good stinkers. I've, we've been getting so many good suggestions, too, like on the Instagram, the Patreon. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, do you, get, do you guys support Israel or Palestine? I was hoping we'd get, I was hoping <laughs> we would get here. Uh, I'm surprised it took for this, only 45 minutes for someone to bring it up. For the sake of donations, do we say... Uh, <laughs> no, we don't neither. say anything, yeah. I want to know who bombed that fucking hospital. Jack Rush. Uh, is there, uh, yeah, it was uh, the Scrubs series finale. Is there another <laughs> Mike and Makeup episode coming soon? Jack, there is. And uh, sometime within the next month it'll happen. I'm just waiting for my sister-in-law's availability. She's the makeup lady. And um, I don't know if you two are going to want to be in the same room as me. Okay. But wait, this is free on YouTube right now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Trey Banks. Not all of you are patrons necessarily. This is free. This could be people who are just um, not patrons and they just watch on YouTube. You think I'm so fucking baked, don't you, man? You really fucking thought you had me, didn't you? 
Matt Brady, uh, sorry to Butterly, I won't be. Oh, yeah, if, if anybody in Cleveland uh, is op- up for a show this weekend, Butterly's going to be there, and then he's also going to uh, St. Louis. And Tim is so fucking good at stand-up right now that it's sickening. Yeah, Go see him. Is. You will not be disappointed. He's so fun to watch, man. He's yeah, the I fucking man. Go to Both of you guys shows. fucking killed at that skank. I know I said it already. That skank fest show. Yeah, but skank fest is heaven, man. Yeah, dude. Mm. It was awesome. I loved it. Which teams do you guys go for when Philly teams get eliminated? Uh, if it's a deep playoff run, I, I'm i emotionally divested. I, I truly don't fucking care. <laughs> Blackface for Idi Amin, Seth. More comments. Quickly. Quickly. Is there you. another episode where you feed John and Jake? Yeah, are you reading from the top? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I, I'm reading doggy style. <laughs> <laughs> I see everything happening under me. <laughs> this explains this how he prepares for the episodes. He reads everything doggy style. That, yeah, I haven't fed you guys in a while, so that's going to have to come up too. I actually just ate. Thank you. But the two special things I had planned for the near future uh, involved uh, Chris Benoit and then uh, Lord. I, I don't want to say who the other one is, but okay. I want you to figure it out when you see me in the makeup. I want you to figure out when you attend John and Jake's funeral. <laughs> <laughs> Whitney Houston. Uh, 3B, anyone but the Astros. I, you know, I yeah, I, yeah, I, I fucking hate them because they beat us last year, but... Um, I love their stadium, and they got a bunch of dogs on the team. So yeah, they do. I don't think I, I hate the Astros, although I hope they come back against the Rangers because I would love to see the Phillies play them and beat them this year. I I agree. We need more cheese pie. Uh, we are we actually don't. We don't need that. I think it actually <laughs> helps for gout. Yeah, I saw like an article on uh, WebMD the other day. <laughs> yeah, WebMD. Cheese and pie. What's that stand for? McDonald's website. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you got to type in all your rewards. Web McDonald's. You're too fucking hungry to <laughs> type it correctly. Yeah, Jordan Alvarez is incredible, man. All that oh. guy does is fucking hit home runs. Cheerly, fucking hey, man. Thanks for joining the Patreon. That's awesome. Thank you, Cheerly. Woo! Zachary Bear, I will consider that. Nick they Ma- did do me dirty <laughs> on that fucking Philly fest with my vest. It's the fest vest, dude. I had a pocket for everything. John, you got a serious question. What are the early signs of gout? Because this fellow might have it. Oh, my God. It feels like it's not an early sign. You wake up one day and your foot feels like your girlfriend hit it with a fucking wrench because you pissed on the air conditioner again. <laughs> but it wasn't, it wasn't physical harm. It was God telling you not to drink every single day. I agree with Jack Rush's comment. John's tanner now than he was over the summer. <laughs> Is that yeah, true? Or what are you wearing? doing? Yeah. Uh, honestly, I feel like I have got the most sun when we went hiking in... We did get a lot, yeah. yeah. We were outside for a while. Not I'm surprised that he didn't get hiking. burned. We didn't really gain any elevation, so I wouldn't really call that. I'd hike. say the heartbeat yeah. was up, so uh, I counted as hiking. I t- I'm telling everyone. We I'd... need to get you one of those beach wheelchairs next time we go hiking. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the rocket skates weren't cutting it. <laughs> Marcus Faze, what's the weirdest thing you've read on a bathroom stall? Uh, my wife's name and number. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one time I read something about. Pineapple Pete What's his name Coconut Pete <laughs> Said like Coconut Pete Is an asshole Moon River Rock <laughs> No maybe it said uh, The line from That movie That I'm trying to think of Alright maybe I am A little baked <laughs> Pineapple <laughs> Express My Why does my face Look like what Fuck uh, yeah, Don't ask a question You don't want the answer to Thomas Wobin I love you too brother uh, Can we hear the original Pissing in the uh, Air conditioner story, John. Somebody used to ask that? Yeah. <clears throat> the original one? What does that mean? Jack, it's The a, first ever one? Yeah, it's a, it's a series. It's like there's 10 of them. <clears throat> the first uh, drunk piss I ever did was like maybe the second to the last day of freshman year uh, of college. Uh, you know, so co-ed dorms. I'd already had two strikes, one more strike, and you can get kicked out. And uh, I... Got out of my room and I walked right across the hall, and the girl who lived in that room opened up her door to me just pissing on her feet. <laughs> 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 and she did not tell the RA. She Whoa. saved me from getting kicked out until you know another year and a half when I got my second two strikes. I actually got four strikes before they got around to kicking me out. If you get them fast enough. <laughs> 
Dude. Club did, Dread, yes. How did she not tell on you? How did she not? Because we had a is, good rapport. Is that, is, that better be your now wife? Because that's a, that's a soulmate. You, if a woman opens a door to be immediately just covered in piss <laughs> and she doesn't tell on you, you found the one. She knew that I was a fucking campus drug dealer and had two strikes. <laughs> but I wasn't a bad guy, all right? I, I believe When that. I met her, I had dreadlocks. Shrimp Alfredo, <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> what is the next movie in the next watch along? Uh, we're going to do some spooky Halloween stuff. Yes. Yeah. You got anything that you have planned? Whatever it is, I probably haven't seen it. Um, well, Halloween... Any of the Halloweens were obvious ones. They're scary. They are very they spooky. Sound very scary. I did one. I think. All right, Texas Chainsaw probably scares me the most, but I think a close second place is the movie The Strangers. I think that's a very spooky Halloween. Is that one. from with like uh, Liv Tyler. It is. Yeah, two thousand eight ish. I think I actually that saw that. Out. Yeah. Yeah. That was a fucking spooky. scary one. Kind of similar to Funny Games, right? Yeah, yeah, Lucas. Well, funny games, they come in and they start torturing, but strangers, they don't come in for a while, right? They're just torturing from the outside. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Divorce Seven Times said the math movies Mike had to watch in college. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's a fucking fire deep cut reference. <laughs> wow. Pew, pew. Lucas, I, I hadn't seen Taxi Driver until maybe like three years ago and uh, blown away by it. Yeah, I I love somebody spiraling into the depths of psychosis. Dude, it's pretty awesome. Mm. I never saw it. Right, John? Uh, you would love it. Uh, so, what's what's her name? Uh, Sybil Shepherd. Don't do this to me. <laughs> She's in that, right? That's uh, the love interest. Don't ask me. I just said I never saw it. I know uh, what's her name's in it. Um, Jodie Foster as a kid. Yeah, not her. I think it was Sybil Shepherd. Um, I don't know who that is. I I loved her. She, is she in the Help? I wouldn't mind helping her, I'll tell you that much. Damn, saw the strangers in the theater and people were leaving crying. Jesus Dude. Christ. What are the changes they just got a text that said somebody died? <laughs> <laughs> a second plane is in. <laughs> They're leaving and the, and the people from the studio are like, what'd you think? I think I loved her a lot. Uh, dude, Seth, when I saw The Strangers in the theater too, I went to a fucking, it was like a, a matinee, like four o'clock or fucking some shit. And uh, I was so spooked that I kept checking behind me. Damn. Jesus. I mean, it's, you know, that's not out of the realm of possibility with the whole Dark Knight shooting and... Oh, dude, Mandy ones. was fucking awesome. I just saw that oh, the other Sonya, day. Sonia, you're the I fucking best. Thank you. I appreciate you. you. Yeah. Now we Thanks definitely got to come to Sacramento. Oh, God, we got to go back to the Nike store. Damn. I can't wait to go back to the Nike store. I yeah, scored great. two for two on Nike clearance stores. I got myself a top and a bottom. I got these pants from there. Did you? Yeah, they They're feel very they similar feel, to these yeah. pants. They feel great. Yeah, the top, the top and a bottom. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. I guess I yeah. didn't catch that one. Thank God the yeah. famous barbecue homophobe is here. <laughs> <laughs> this is new venture. <laughs> famous barbecue homophobe. Yeah, he, he only sells burnt tips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you were home. What a fucking tagline, man. Oh, uh, falling down is great. That would be a good one for little stinkers. Yes. That. Is that uh, no, no, just you'll you'll want to get a gun and uh, <laughs> run around. Okay. One of those things sound appealing, dude. Maybe uh, maybe we'll <laughs> <laughs> we'll wheel you around. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I'm le I'm legitimately I'm gonna rent a uh, a theater for the MacGruber showing. So, dude, that is awesome, dude. Yeah. I'm doing a thing. So I'm. Um, uh, all right. If you bought a co if you buy a copy of On Perks up until December thirty first, uh, you're included for a shot to win a weekend with me. And what I'm going to do for this weekend with me is wherever the fuck you are, I'm going to fly you in. Uh, your ho your airfare is going to be covered. Your hotel is going to be covered. We are going to spend the weekend uh, going to my favorite pizza place, which is Pika's Restaurant, Upper Darby, PA. We're going uh, on a true crime tour with these two, and we're going to a Phillies game with Chris Wood and Ryan Shaner. And then we are also, I'm going to rent a theater, and we're going to have a showing of MacGruber. That's just awesome. If you've never seen MacGruber, there is not a funnier movie out there. So I saw it twice opening weekend. So fucking funny, but I, it might be worth it to like somehow wedge in a showing of Falling Down where everybody brings a gun. 
<laughs> you know, I was just going to uh, ask if you had any kind of insurance set up for this, <laughs> no. and I think the answer is clear. Hey, it, it, it's BYOI. Bring your own insurance in. Uh, but Zach Bonesteel, how do you get in on this? Uh, just if you buy a copy of my book, just go to allperks.com. If you've already bought a copy, you don't have to buy a second copy, but if you do, that would make my wiener wiggle, and that would get me closer to my World Series tickets. It's like lottery tickets. The more you buy, the better chance you get. And that would get you in the running for the yeah. thing, right? The, yeah. And it starts from, what was the... F- the, the very first, first the very first order, which I think is our friend AJ, who might be in the chat. Awesome. Uh, thank you, AJ. Uh, I appreciate you. Up until wherever we're at at the end of the year. And on the first episode of Dad Meet of the Year, whoever the guest is, we're going to have to have them pick a random number. And uh, whatever that number is, um, I'll read your name and and uh, phone number oh, live okay. on air. You know what the move is? If you already have a copy of the book, buy like four more copies, give them as gifts. Christmas is coming up. Yep. I like the way you think. It's Sean. the perfect fucking gift to give and anybody. Anybody, dude. Even some if somebody doesn't read, anybody that has a <laughs> sense of humor and likes funny shit is going to love this book. Yeah. Thank you, John. That's how you do it. That's how you get a better chance of getting a weekend at Rainy. Yeah. You know I, how you guys have an uncle that doesn't get out of bed and just very sad and mopey? <laughs> Give it to him. He'll love it. And, you know, you get another chance. Come I love you, party Jake. With us. Yeah. I'm going to make this a weekend to remember for whoever wins this fucking contest. <laughs> Secretly, I hope somebody from very far away wins it. So they got to come to Delco for three days from, like, fucking Australia. <laughs> but it's going to be totally random. Wow, Mike, I'd like to do something <laughs> special for this contest if I could. I mean, I could, I'd like to donate maybe one of my um, my favorite piss cups. Thank you, Jake. Yeah, so you can now throw that in. You, you can, can fill it up at the movie theater that Mike rents. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, Nick, relative to your comment, um, yeah, I, I think I have to brace my wife on the chance that uh, a, a very lovely 200-pound Latina is going to be the winner. And I'm going to spend the weekend with her, man. Yeah, those are a lot of your fans. <laughs> Why is there also a minister here? <laughs> but, yeah, we're going to have a ton of fun. And, um, yeah, once I pick the winner, we'll fucking... Whatever date works for you in the spring or the summer, we'll figure it out. and We'll make it happen. And uh, all the ducks will fall into line from there. People want the Sharpie, too, Mike. People want the Sharpie. Who wants that Sharpie, Jake? Look at that. Jack Rush, Avery, all these perverts in the chat. Yeah, somebody asked for Jake to stick a fucking Sharpie in his belly button one day. (laughs) And that thing... Chase. I'm not going to say your last name. That thing smelled like a fucking dead cat that somebody kept in a pillowcase for a year. Where are you, Chase? I know you're out there. I threw it out. I I couldn't have that in here. I have I have serial killer bobbleheads in my fucking room. You have actually John Wayne Gacy's business card somewhere around <laughs> yes. here. His actual business card. But I could not have that fucking thing that Jake stuck in his belly button in my room because I, it felt like it felt like a doll was back here <laughs> from the fucking 17th century. The, the marker would move every time you'd look away. <laughs> Dude. This is fun. Jake moves like an offensive lineman. You do got some moves, brother. Yeah, you're going to get out of that pit, no problem now. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to somersault out. You've been going to the gym I have. a lot since the first and time. You know, you're a very strong dude. It's fucked up that I still look like that. I mean, it's almost like a... It's not a failure because, you know, I'm healthier. You're moving. Yeah, I'm moving. But, I mean, man, it's embarrassing to be going to the gym for... What's it been, like two years since the incident, I guess? Yeah. And, uh, whoo. I think it's like 40 pounds. I have 60 pounds. I was like at, and now I'm at like 45, well, just sitting there. I'm serious when I say this, yeah. but I would like to lose some weight too. Yeah. And I would like to get in better shape. Um, so if you want to team up to do something, I'd be happy to do it with I, you. Dude, I love it. What I've started doing is I like, I'll eat dinner and I'll put on like a, uh, a, a live surgery on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and immediately uh, I feel less uh, hungry. That's a genius <laughs> idea. Yeah. So it's been working. Joe Steve, honestly, like, and I and I, I mention them a lot because oh, they're a sponsor, right. but, yeah, the uh, company that's been sending sponsoring us and, and sending me meals each week, I have been eating a lot better because of what they've been sending me. So I'm not, I'm not going to mention them here because yeah. I don't want it to seem like an advertisement, but that has been helpful. I did yeah, not Jake, get the you, hot you are dog sexy, place. brother. Did you guys get Coney Dogs on Fremont? Only you know, thing I, I did. No. did you? I did, yeah. I didn't. Oh, I snuck over. Was, you know, did they over. just sell Coney hot dogs? They had hot dogs. Did they have anything else? I don't, they no had burgers they had, and fries. Uh, I can't pronounce this word. <laughs> Zach Gyros. Gyros. I think it's Gyro. Gyros. Mm. Zach yes. Bonasteel. 
I better see you at the fucking foam pit. I'm going to get in and out of that thing 100 <laughs> fucking times. You hear me? I can't oh, wait for you, these Marcus. two not to be able to get out. Me? Yeah, it's just, it's going to be a challenge for you two. Brother, yeah. I'm going to get out of that fucking pit on one foot. Yeah, I'm going to be devastated how quickly you guys <laughs> get out of that <laughs> no. foam pit. <laughs> Yeah, well, they were cutting out soda guys. is a big one, too. Oh, my God. These guys are fucking soda. teaming up on me. I will beat anyone in this room at a athletic decathlon. Hands down. I thought I had a, a leg up on John. I'm being dead serious. You're talking, are we talking uh, skills? Throwing skills? Skill position? I'm, I'm an ace. Quarterback. He can, yeah, he was I'll a be anybody in basketball. I'll, I'll throw a fucking hot, hot dog through a tire. Good spiral. I'll Thank give you. you that. Sean, congrats, brother. That, that's a massive feat. Um, what do you do when your family's... Can you scroll down so I can see that Fuck comment, Jake? Sam, I am a peak athlete. Uh, hang on. So I can... I brother, was... if, if it was relative to, like, your family fighting, dude, I will say this. Just a quick thing about giving up booze. Um, every emotion is going to seem like it's coming at you a thousand times stronger than it was before. Um. I would just try to have as many supports in place. And for me, when I gave up booze, it was um, just going to AA. I know there are other ways that people handle that, but I think that's a very cost-effective, easily accessible way to handle that shit. Um, yeah. And there's a lot of good people there that you can talk to that have been through the shit. And also, if you hit me up, I'll be happy to talk to you. I do apologize for the people that have hit me up and I haven't been able to get back to you yet. Uh, I will get back to everybody. It just takes me forever sometimes. But... Back to your uh, question, Sean. Uh, keep up the good work, brother, and just um, I, I give it up. I'll give it out again, dude. If you fucking hit me up right now, I'll hit you back. My number is two one five seven eight nine five four zero seven. For real, if if anybody, if you need something, if you have something pressing, especially with giving up fucking booze, coke, or pills, because those things were the three hardest for me. John, hit me up. I, I swear to God, if you message me, I will message you back. Message you back. If I don't have my phone, in, if I have my phone in the hand. I'll get back to you quickly. If not, it might take some time, but I promise you I will get back to you. So 215. <laughs> <laughs> Just writing it down. Sorry. But, yeah, Sean, keep keep up the good work, brother, and you're, you're doing the right thing, man, and I swear to God, man, yeah. that, you know, shit does get easier over time. Fuck, fuck, Sean. Yeah, hey, you're yeah, fucking yeah. man, dude. Hell, yeah. Yeah, there are some fucking smoking asses at AA, so... <laughs> Is there a lot of... <laughs> it is, yeah. It's, yeah. it's just non-fucking-stop. But, I mean, the alternative is, like, people just ruining their lives and the people <gasps> around them. So smoking is kind of like, yeah. all right, yeah, that's fucking... Dilbert, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Have you ever been so hungover you quit your job just to be able to sleep in? Um, I don't know that I quit my job, but I definitely called out after I had been warned. With... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the, uh, the, the greatest punishment, which... Maybe I missed something, but it did not seem like a punishment at the time. I called out so often on the job where I had to work weekends that that Monday, I thought I was going to get fired. I went in. My boss called me in our office. She's like, uh, we're not going to allow you to work weekends anymore. Best news possible. Yeah. That's awesome. Like, oh, no. <laughs> I hated that fucking job. It was Sam so fucking Jay, hard. Bring, the, uh, bring your board to Helium in St. Louis, and I'll play you in skate. There you go. Need an eight and a half. If you don't have an eight and a half board, fucking buy me an eight and a half. I need one to kickflip on. I only have five tricks, so if you can do them all, I'm fucked. <laughs> but, Sean, now that I'm thinking about it more, I, I think, like, when you have that kind of support, whether it's, you know, a 12-step program or, or something else which, you know, provides feedback for you and people that you could bounce, like, all these fucking intense emotions off of, it does make everything that you're dealing with easier, especially in your family life because, you know, that shit's going to just keep coming 100 miles an hour and you do get better at weathering the storm as time progresses. So, progresses. so just know that. You're going to get better at all this shit. Um, but, yeah, be patient with yourself and just keep doing what you're doing, brother. Yeah, I bladed in the 90s till I got a fucking skateboard. What'd you do then? When I was eight, I, I skateboarded. I, no, but I mean, like, did you did you <clears throat> stick with it or... Did you Katie? give that up for something else? No, no, no. Oh, yeah, I gave it up for smoking weed and fingering chicks, but <laughs> <clears throat> I still retained a lot of my stuff. Funny enough, I was on rollerblades at the first ever X Games, just accidentally, and uh, I saw the skateboarders compared to the rollerbladers, how cool they looked yeah. doing tricks, and I was like, well, this is this is my last summer on wheels, <laughs> on boots. Uh, this is my last summer in boots, is what I... <clears throat> last summer in Next, boots. Next... <laughs> 
I don't know what this is in reference to, but reckon it says Russian roulette with a t-shirt cannon and a dildo. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm man. pulling the trigger every time. <laughs> <laughs> Rocco, fill us in, brother. What's happening with the Rangers and Astros? Have anything planned for November? Uh, yeah, um, I was just filling the boys in before we sat down, but uh, we're putting together the Christmas album now. I'm writing all the lyrics now, and uh, this weekend I'm gonna I'm gonna present to them my first draft of the lyrics for the songs. <sighs> so yeah, we're gonna put out a Christmas album. The goal is to make it available on Black Friday, and it's going to be uh, a digital download, and we'll go from there if we can do other stuff. Cool. But at the very least, digital download, and I cannot wait to um, finish this album and have John not want to be associated with any of it. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to take a look at the lyrics when I come to the stew. Uh, (laughs) Everybody is fucking Going on me tonight. They're saying I can't drop in on a skateboard. I dropped in on a nine footer. You piece of Dude, shit. That's my that's my big goal in life. Drop in on a foam pit. <laughs> Dropping in in a half pipe, dude. I remember a vert busting, ramp. Yeah, like a twelve footer. Yeah, no, you want to no, do that like in your forties? Six six footer is okay. what, what I want to do. Do a mini ramp. I uh, dude, I tried to do a four foot like back in the day. There was a place called Boards and Blades. Did you go back? And no, I went forward. Over. Slammed my head, dude. Pretty pretty sure I had a concussion. On a four-footer? Yeah. Damn. I, like, just, like, overcommitted. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah I know exactly like, every, what mean. Everything, everything I do, I overcommit. <laughs> John, you got a question. What is your vape flavor? This one here is wild berry. It's weed. This one here is tobacco, and it's strawberry ice. And this one is, um, can't remember, but it's also weed. <laughs> John was like our uh, our vibe coordinator on our little road trip. He was. He put you, a lot of Bakersfield beat on for us. Yeah. That's the best kind you of really, shit to listen to in the West, I think. It truly yeah. is, man. A lot of Dwight Yoakam. Yeah, country songs that you fucking never heard before, but it's not like Garth Brooks shit. It's yeah. outlaw country and, and the Bakersfield sound, which I'm partial to. <laughs> yeah, it was nice. I, I don't really listen to... The Bakersfield sound too much, but it did make me come back. I've been listening to a lot of like uh, Harvest Moon right now, nice. Neil Young, mm-hmm. and I feel like that has kind of like a a, f- a little bit of flavor of that for sure. in there. For sh- yeah, more more shit about me not being able to skateboard. <laughs> Looks like we got to make a fucking Patreon skate video, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> don't Dude, we? You know, I've been teasing buying a new board because I, I have to. Would love yeah. for us to film a skate video, Mike. Can you skate? No, I had a skateboard, but I was afraid. Yeah. Did you learn how to ride it at all? I didn't do shit, brother. You didn't even couldn't even go down a hill on it, bro. Uh, I practice in my alleyway, just staying on the fucking thing, and I got spooked by falling off because I was a big pussy who was told he was going to get hurt with everything he did. Yikes! <laughs> did your parents make you wear a helmet when you were doing it? No. He well, just wears one now. That's two. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got one for you now, big guy. Stand, learning <laughs> to too. stand on oh, it by the is way, harder, I think. You we gotta, forgot like, to move We only got a few minutes left, but we also have this helmet here. So if anybody, any one of us, we should have mentioned this at the beginning, but if anybody says anything particularly dumb, if we get three buck bucks in the row with that person's name, we will have to put it on. So if, if you put my name three times in a row in the chat, or John's name, or Jake's name. Oh, we got a mic. Oh, we got no. a John. Start yeah, second John. Go. Yes, three oh, Johns in a row, baby. John. Four, no. five. All right, now so it's in a row. In a row. <laughs> in a row means that, not that. Sam, shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sam just moved on to me. <laughs> there he is. God, look. That doesn't him. count. Win. Nice try. I like the creativity, but suck my dick. <laughs> John is feisty tonight. It's at Arby's. What's in that? I had a Red Bull for the first time in a while, and it's going to bite me in the ass. I'll be up till 6.30 a.m. because of it. You're going to fight a cop? Fight you. That looks so good on you, man. Does it? It really does. Do you think I can do a kickflip? I don't think you can open a can of soda. Oh, my God. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) Nobody said to buckle it. I just did it. (laughs) Oh, there you go, Jake, Jack. I do enjoy when you put it on, Jake, because I feel like it's at war with your face. Oh, it, it's at war, that's for sure. Is that that's a one-size-fits-all helmet? 
Wesley, I do not think I could do that. I, I don't know. What? You can't what? Hand, hold you in the air in a stand-up 69. Me? Either of you. Uh, maybe you. Him or me? Yeah, definitely not me. I mean, let's come on. This, these guys aren't Avengers. <laughs> if you were um, on something upside down. Drugs. No, if you were, yeah, if I, a, I would smoke PCP just to try to hold Jake. In the <laughs> <laughs> if there was a device that could hold your mouth at my penis level, and then I could just grip, come up to it and grip, all right, oh, just dude. squeeze. I think we could both come. I think there is something you can. You could probably uh, Jerry rig one of those things that hold cameras. You mm-hmm. ever seen those? Those yeah. stabilizers that people wear. Yeah, it's gonna stabilize me. <laughs> Stabilizes, dude. Yeah, this guy's talking about stabilizing. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said This is me it's Upside down in the standing 69 <laughs> Jesus Christ I would turn into a mushroom Just everything would just like, <laughs> Gravity would just take hold Gary I would enjoy that as well man Josephus that's a bold move brother yeah. Sam I will fucking Go home tonight and film myself Doing an ollie And I want to see that paycheck I want <laughs> Uh, Zesty seventy seven, uh, please tell us more about your experience with PCP. <laughs> you can ollie, can't you? Yeah, I can ollie. Yeah, probably. Well, let's get that fucking paycheck, more. John. You, uh, Zach in the chat says that you look like Rasputin. Rasputin? That's that's a compliment. That is nice. Did he have a harem of women or something, or was he just a killer? What was Rasputin's thing? I don't know if he had bitches. Zach, can you tell us, brother? If it was a compliment, thank you. If it wasn't, thank you anyway. <laughs> All right, yeah, yo. we're gonna we're gonna do some skateboarding videos. We'll put them on the Patreon. I'm gonna finally 360 flip and ride away, dude. That's how I learned about the Pixies was a skateboarding video. What? Yeah, back when I was in seventh grade. Whose part was it? It was it was a Wart Dick Delcala. Where are we going with this? <laughs> what the fuck? End it and cut the feed. <laughs> Wart Dick. Sorry, I cut you no, off. No. Somebody called me Wart Dick Del Calo in the chat. You Danny, I like the way you think, brother. Yeah, I do. All right, uh, we're going to wrap it up here in a minute. If anybody's got anything pressing, we'll pick a couple more. I would love to read. Okay, cool. Oh, damn. Heath Everett says, John likes PCP. Penis, cock, penis. <laughs> <laughs> Fried my ass. Dude, yesterday, Mike sent us a, an audio <laughs> message telling me to stick my thumb up John's butt for something. <laughs> yeah, why did I? what did I want to yell? I can't remember, but he sent it twice. He was like, oh. hey. Yeah, what was it? Two different versions. He edited 10 <laughs> seconds out of the second <laughs> yeah. version. Oh, no, because uh, I had called the Kyle Schwarber leadoff home run, and That's then right. when I thought my mojo was working, I asked for huge penises for the three of us. Yes. Jake said his work. John he said worked. his didn't. So I told John I'd be willing to scream positive affirmations into his dick hole. Yeah. But in order for them to work, <laughs> Jake would have to stick his thumb in John's asshole because... Dick hole affirmations work the same way that the Chinese belief in maintaining finances does in that if your front door has a direct path to your back door, your money's going to go right out the window. So I need Jake to put his thumb in John's asshole while I scream to that dick hole. Just to keep it in there, like a piggy bank. Nick. It's Nick Killian. It's way. <laughs> yes. uh, I don't wear Under Armour. You've never seen me in Under Armour. I hate Under Armour, and I hate that... Um, they make a lot of school uniforms. Nick Killian, uh, it does rule. Golden Thrones is the oh, fucking yeah, best. Oh, yeah, thank you. I was showing somebody yeah. Golden Thrones drunk at the bar the other night. Speaking of Bung Shui, Golden Thrones, got to bring it back. I would love to. Yeah, let's do it. It'll happen. It will. We'll do We'll in do some St. Louis. in the future. Some, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, come to St. Louis. We'll all get in the bathroom and film us taking a piss. <laughs> I'll even interview the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, they're really giving me a... John can't even tell people where to piss, man. That's exactly what I fucking do. John played outlaw golf? Uh, last three Reddit searches. Uh, nothing bad. Uh, the Matt and, Sh- Matt and Shane subreddit, last podcast on the left, and the Delphi Murders group. I wish I could tell you, but I have no idea where my phone is. Oh, yeah. yeah. Jake lost his phone. Uh, yeah. It's Thank you, Curtis. I believe that I make perfect sense when I explain these as well. What did you do? What did you explain? Explaining the whole logistics. Oh, yes, of course. Bung Shui is what you were explaining. Yes. <laughs> is John going to pop on a bikini for the Patreon? <laughs> yeah. Remember when I we asked you boys to always yeah. pop yeah. on some bikinis? Uh, yeah. yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. I've got to get in shape, too. Next beach season, 
I pop on a bikini for you guys. <laughs> he wasn't appreciates that your brother. Past summer, but the last summer wasn't that the beach season? <laughs> Reckon it. I'm gonna check him out. Shut up. <laughs> Lords of Dogtown Killer soundtrack. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Marcus, I, if I need to hold on to an idea, I will not open my mouth. Man, the boy is special. <gasps> oh, no. All right, Sime, if you need me to write a more in-depth letter, and if you think it's because I wrote cursive, I'll gladly send you an email version of a <laughs> hater letter. We can't have that. Nah, there's some other stuff on Reddit, bro. Oh, now they're really calling me out on... I was supposed to be shredded by May 2023. Is that hmm. true? Did wow. I say that in December? Look at all these last people year? you've disappointed. Holy shit. <laughs> They're still waiting for shredded. I think I've lost some weight, and I honestly, I have my shirt off today. It doesn't. It won't take much. Just got to find my weights, dude. You lost weight. <laughs> Spread them all around. <laughs> uh, Sam Vance's Reddit search search includes bigger than her head. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? You're about to find out, brother. Give me your phone. I I don't know where it is. Uh, I'll bet. Uh yeah, we did say shirtless podcast by Labor Day. When did we say that? I rem- I remember that. I don't remember when, but they're I do about remember to, they're that. They're about to get video of us shirtless on Patreon soon. Yeah. We got wet together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there is. Yeah. All right. Fully tip, tip of my penis subreddit. Yeah. It was crazy. I got I forgot to get shredded and got shredded cheese instead, dude. Fucking high, man. Heath, are those books, brother? I don't know. <laughs> what did Joe DeRosa do at Skankfest? I'm not telling that story, but it's not hard to find. Yeah, Rudy, uh, my issue with the Pog subreddit is they let anybody in there, and moderators definitely need to do a better job of that. Jesus Christ. All right, this is starting to turn. (laughs) (laughs) Get out your lotion, everyone. Two-minute warning. Yeah, Yeah, Jake should come and paint it like an NFL game. Yeah, I agree with that. (laughs) Better blur Jake's nips out. No, let them babies fly. They're naturally blurry. (laughs) (laughs) Big natural blurries. <laughs> <laughs> Big natty blurs. Big natty blurs. Yeah, c- kind of. That's 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 my thing, man. There's so many people posting in Pog that aren't Pogs. And <laughs> I get that it's like the, the fucking police spaghetti theory that you just want to fucking throw as much against the wall and hope that, that, some, that some of it sticks. But, I mean, have some fucking self-respect, man. Right above Nick's. It's Reddit, subreddit, Ken John Del Collo skate. <laughs> <laughs> That's sick. I can't wait to do a skate video. I've never, I haven't filmed a part since I was 11. Yeah. <laughs> and Morgan, I agree. Stolen Pog Valor is crazy. Yeah, do you guys have one of those machines that turns VHSs into DVDs? John, we're talking Pogs now, man. Sorry, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. I do not have one of those, but yeah, man, I wish, uh, I would really love to see the Pog subreddit cleaned up. Because there's some, there's some good ones out there. I've been talking about this for like fucking two and a half minutes, Jake. What are they doing? John is 54 <laughs> years old. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, I'm going to fucking fight you, bro. Oh, Jail Batross. Thank you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You probably Sam's second fucking uh, account trying to get the heat off of him. <laughs> Sam Vance, dude. Stuck in a foam pit. <laughs> Please, Sam, come to St. Louis. You can say all this shit to me on stage. <laughs> All right, y'all. We're about to wrap it up. We're about to head over to um, to our Patreon page. We're going to do a live episode in about 10 minutes. We're going to um, take a leak. John's probably going to get himself high a little bit more. I got three beverages to finish, so you know I'm taking a leak with you. Same time, <laughs> crossing swords. And then we're headed over to patreon.com slash stinkers. That's L-I-L-S-T-I-N-K-E-R-S. That bitch can spell. It's, I think, <laughs> it's in the description of the video, too. I think the link's in there. So All right, click cool. On it. So, yeah, we're going to be doing a live episode over there in about 10 minutes, and we're going to – Coin Flip provided uh, – um, we're going to be doing a Cleveland bad boy tonight. Oh, okay. Ooh. Yeah, he's a real motherfucker, man. Just a tried-and-true piece of shit who, um, man, was – thank God he is not of this earth anymore. All right. So join us over there in about 10 minutes, and – Guys, thank you for making this so much fun. I had yeah, a blast tonight. Always thank a you. fucking blast with you guys in the chat. About to do it again in the live chat. And the helmet rules apply for the live episode, too. So yes, don't be afraid 
to type somebody's name in three consecutive times. Not one person typing it three consecutive times, but it's got to be three different people, same name. Yeah, and if you if you're in Cleveland, you have a story about who we who we're talking about, throw it in the chat. Oh yeah, to, true. Yeah. He's out of this world like John skating skills. <laughs> I like that. Zach, you got yourself a free ticket to see me in St. Louis <laughs> if you go to the show the night before. Oh, Danger Adam, appreciate you, friend. All right, I love you guys, and I hope to see all of you over there on the Patreon. Let's call it 10.05. We're going to start the episode on Patreon. All right, yeah. let's get it. Bye, see you guys, guys next time. See you. Bye. Don't worry, we're still going to be live for about 45 seconds. So I figure out this old oh, mouse. Good, oh, baby. cool. I can go back and uh, curse yeah, people's names that <laughs> fucked on me. Yeah, here you go. You can curse them while I end the chat. A brink uh, extra. That's nice. They're starting to get nice at the end. The, oh, nice. somebody Thanks, guys. Somebody said the stream was 69 minutes. Oh. Dude, that's so yeah, perfect. Nick. The next one we do is going to be 420 minutes. I'll oh, see you, Stephanie. You're the best. Oh, Rudy, standing 69.